Max Mulhern is an American artist who has lived in Paris since 1985. Two years ago, he conceived of a project to construct and launch a colossal pair of seagoing dice. To help realize his vision, he solicited startup funding on France's version of Kickstarter, Kiss Kiss Bank Bank, and surpassed his goal of 5,000 euros. Today, I'm asking you to help Aquadice make its big splash. The first kernels were when I started designing boats, but as sculptures. And I was drawing these boats that would float, but that would be almost impossible to navigate. They might have two bows that are going in two different directions, or they might have, there's one boat I, I did, uh, it had a thousand masts. I called those uh, contradictory craft. If I were to talk about my body of work, I would say that I've been, I've been building a boat. My dad grew up very poor in West Philadelphia. He was an orphan, I had never been near the water. And all of a sudden he's like, well, I'm gonna buy a boat. He was a sculptor and a painter and he bought a boat. He didn't buy the plastic boat that was just gonna float and we could have fun on. He bought an old wreck, an old wooden wreck. So that's probably what is the DNA of, of the art I do, which is it's gonna be wooden, it's gonna be floating, but sinking at the same time and you're gonna have to be fixing it the whole time to keep it floating. This is, this is one of the, probably the first one I did when I started thinking that I was actually gonna do something with the, the dice. And that's when I was thinking, wow, the die as potential landscape, the die that spots as celestial bodies and dice on water, that's when it first started hitting me, wow. What I'm actually putting forward here is this, this notion of putting some dice on water, so water dice. I chose the Canary Islands for launching the dice for a few reasons. The main one being that it was the easiest place to drop them straight into the trade winds and into the Canary Current because they're, they're the motors to the dice. It, 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 it's the best place to give them an unimpeded launch. When we launch the dice, we're going to be launching them on the path that Christopher Columbus took when he sailed over to the New World, as well as the slaves. It was called the Middle Passage. And for me, Columbus's ships were nothing more than big dice. I mean, Columbus was a roll of the dice. The aqua dice, they're painted a bright fluorescent orange with blue spots. These are the colors of life-saving equipment on the high sea. So when a boat turns upside down or when there's a big storm, these colors are deployed so the boat can be found. I'm sitting here between the dice and uh, I can feel the wind at my back. It's now finally turned around to the right direction, so I think we can launch in about five or ten minutes. For me, these are all, there, there, there are two things at the same time. It's like a warning. Look at the financial crisis here in Europe. Uh, this is a warning. Don't speculate. Get a, don't bet with your money. I mean, you know, don't, we, you have to get away from that because it brings down societies. At the same time, it's sort of like, well, there's hope here. The message is, well, maybe we'll make it if we just keep gambling. If someone once said to me, I'd rather be lucky than anything else in this whole wide world. And it's true. You, know, you, don't, you don't need, if you're lucky, you don't need money. You don't need looks. You don't need intelligence. Although you probably have all those things because you're lucky. But if you have those, if you have luck, then everything else is fine. I'm not rolling the dice here with Aka Dice. What's happening is I'm placing them in nature's hands, as it were, and it's the waves and the winds and the currents that are going to do the pushing and the rolling and the deciding. For me, I'm kind of happy with any outcome, total disparition. They go to America and perhaps they open new doors of chance and a new sort of Christopher Columbus crossing, but we'll, we'll look for a different outcome. Maybe they'll go back to Africa. Maybe they'll drift back over to Senegal and that'll be, that'll be pretty funny. I mean, in any case, imagine someone on the beach going fishing for the day or going for a stroll and they see two dice or a die uh, showing up on the waves. That must, that's going to be an extraordinary, I, I wish I could be that person and be totally surprised. <laughs>